When connected to a remote workspace in VS Code, such as a machine over SSH, a dev container, or WSL, port forwarding lets you access remote resources from your local machine. One example use case for this is if you're developing a web app, you can actually run the server for it on the remote machine, but view the served pages in your local web browser. To demonstrate this, here I have a workspace for a simple Express app that is actually coming from a remote SSH machine. So let's go and start the app in the console here, just doing npm start. And again, this Express app is running on the remote machine, so I cannot actually use my local web browser right now to go and view it. Let's fix that using port forwarding. So I'm going to go over here into the activity bar to the remote explorer. If this entry is not visible, just right clicking the activity bar and make sure that remote explorer is checked here. And you can see that in the remote explorer, I have a forwarded port section here. I'm going to hit refresh. And VS Code will actually try to automatically detect any spawned processes from the terminal and make it easy to forward those. So in this case, it's detected that we're running a process on port 3000. If we want to set up forwarding, it makes that port available on our local machine. All I have to do here is click the little plus, and now that port is being forwarded. Now to access it, I can just hit this little globe icon here, and you can see that, sure enough, my local web browser is opened up, and I'm viewing the remote resource. So again, the Express server itself is actually running on the remote machine, but I'm using my local web browser to go and view the served page from it. Now you can also set up port forwarding manually. So I'm going to go in here in my terminal, just do HTTP server dot here. So now I've started up another server. If I refresh here, you can see that VS Code has automatically detected that one as well. But I could, let's pretend that it is not, and I want to add a port forwarding manually. You can click the plus icon up here and then enter the port to be forwarded. So you can forward pretty much any port um, from the remote machine to your, the local machine. So I'll say enter, and now VS Code has set up another forwarded port. Click on the little globe icon, and sure enough, my browser is now viewing the result from that server as well. Now there's a bunch of other more advanced options for port forwarding. You can go and stop forwarding, for example. So if I click the X there, forwarding is stopped. I can't view that page anymore. Um, so there's a bunch more advanced configuration options as well. But as you saw, port forwarding is very useful because it lets you run your server on the remote machine with your workspace, but actually access it using your local web browser. VS Code's port forwarding UI makes managing the forwarded ports super easy as well. So that's a quick look at port forwarding using VS Code Remote.